Now, a lot of people, and I'm sure people watching this today, um, either have walked away from their faith or lost their faith because God didn't do something mm -hmm. in a way that they mm -hmm. thought they God were. should have done yes. it. And, you know, it would be, um, it would not be honest of me to say there haven't been times I've really had to work through some mm -hmm. major disappointments to go, I don't know why that didn't happen. And, and what I had to understand with all of that, I still don't know why it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, I think, when you go through, sometimes we have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I, I want to be delivered from it. Right, I want right. to be taken around it. Around I'd it. rather go back. Run out. But, but yeah. you know, the point is, there is some kind of fruitfulness and sanctification that only comes by going through. The very bottom line is that God is God and we are not. Right. God is sovereign. There are certain things scripture says that we know in part, one Quite day we absolutely. will know in full. So, you know, the ability to deal with disappointment when perhaps I didn't get the answer or the outcome I was expecting mm -hmm. is a huge maturity for yeah. a believer. Now, a lot of people, and I'm sure people watching this today, mm -hmm. um, either have walked away from their faith or lost their faith because God didn't do something mm -hmm. in a way that they mm -hmm. thought they God thought. should have done yes. it. And, you know, it would be, um, it would not be honest of me to say there haven't been times I've really had to work through some mm -hmm. major disappointments mm -hmm. to go, oh, yeah. I don't know why that didn't right. happen. And, right. and what I had to understand with all of that, I still don't know why it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. But the difference is, I think, when you go through, sometimes we have to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah, I, I want to be delivered from it. Right, I want right. to be taken around go it. Around I'd it. rather go back. Go yeah. But, but yeah. you know, the point <laughs> is, there is some kind of fruitfulness and sanctification that only comes by going through. That's yeah. good. And That's a pruning good. that only comes by going through. It doesn't mean, um, and you know, the Bible says in Hebrews that, that a good father uh, corrects, a good father disciplines. That's, that's not a bad thing, but none of us want to be on the receiving end no, of, of disappointment, yeah, right. um, of your dad not doing what you thought. Yeah. Even if you know in your brain he's got a bigger perspective, yeah. you, you've got what I think it always comes down to, and for someone watching this, is an issue of trust. Yes. Can I trust that my God is good yeah. Even when I do not mm -hmm. understand mm -hmm. what has that's happened, good. I think that's me, the big thing. Uh, I think that's perfect because I was just thinking of trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. yeah. That comes right after because, yeah, we think it has to look this way. Yeah. Or, no, this is probably how God would have wanted to do it. Or we mm -hmm. compare our story to somebody else, and it's like yeah. you cannot trust God and lean on your own understanding. It's mm -hmm. like you have to completely let go of your own understanding of a situation because that's the only way you're going to continue to trust in the Lord because we're, we're all going to face disappointments. We're all going to miss the mark. We're all going to get something wrong or think and something's going to turn out. Right. I mean, it, you know, it, it, how do you explain a mother losing a child? In my yeah. work with A21, yeah. some of the traffic, when I look, I go, God, mm -hmm. why? why? How? How? And those issues of human suffering, loss, mm -hmm. pain, grief, yeah. and particularly sometimes our stream of the church hasn't been great with dealing with that. Mm -hmm. And so what when people have that dark night of the soul yeah. and that crisis where you go, why? What's yeah. why? You could have stopped this mm -hmm. and you didn't. Yeah. You could have saved my baby and you right. didn't. Right. Um, right. I think pretending these things don't happen. It's not like we're protecting God. I think yeah, sometimes we think, oh, like yeah. I'm trying to protect no, God's, no, no, no. God's, you know, yeah. You don't yeah. Have to. Allow and cause. So where it gets wrong, where people go, well, you know, say You're there's a big allowed. tsunami, like mm. did God cause a tsunami with 250,000 people? Don't, I'm like, what kind of God are you serving? We live in a fallen world. We live right. in a broken Absolutely. world. Right. Um, so God does not heaven. send us <laughs> right. stuff. Right. That's, right. There's going to be a new heaven and a new earth. Right. If it was all going to be perfect, if I could explain everything now, um, I would be in the new earth. Exactly. I'm not there. I'm still living between the two dispensations right. of Christ. N.T. Wright says real. already right. but not yet. So yeah. already I am seated at the right hand of the Father right. and I have access to every spiritual blessing, but I'm also here on earth mm -hmm. right. and I'm in a fallen world. So right. Right. I'm already but not yet. And so there are some things where I go, look, I have been with mothers that have lost children. Mm -hmm. I, I have believed God. I have been yeah. on my knees truly did not enter my head that the child would die. Yeah. So I, I, I don't even right. know what. So right. I, together with you, had to kind of go, mm. wow. wow. Yes. So I get to the place and go, do I still try? I, I don't understand this. I can't, it doesn't fit in my, it doesn't fit anywhere in yes. any box that I have. Yeah. Right.
but do I still trust right. that yeah, God, God is, is good, good. Yeah. that God does good? Like Job, there's got to be a yes, place where we get to absolutely. like Job that goes, I don't know. We're embarrassed because it's like my faith didn't work right. or that right. you didn't. Right. And sometimes I f- have felt that pressure if someone, even a non-believer or someone that maybe doesn't believe in miracles goes, normally I'm the first Pentecostal phone call because at least, you know, it's, right. nobody believes in miracles until they want one and yeah, need absolutely. one. And then yeah. it's like right. call that's the crazy right. Pentecostal, yeah. that chick yeah, that yeah, speaks exactly. in tongues and believes <laughs> God. <laughs> and then I'm like, God. This is your chance to yes. show, and then yeah. it's you know, and, I, yeah. and then it doesn't. And I've had to really say, yeah. well, Chris, were you really worried about yeah. God or you? Like that, right. you know. I think right. those times are the That's times good. of growth in our lives. Definitely, mm-hmm. definitely. That that I get more passionate. Oh yeah, my faith is built more in yeah. God. Mm. That God is in control. Yeah, and it's a process. I think yeah. to perceive yeah. all of that horribleness yeah. as a way to lean in yes. and give Absolutely. it to God yeah. and know that God is is working it out right. for my good. I might not see it. Mm-hmm. I might not ever see it, right. Right. but it will be accounted to me as righteousness if I press in in Amen. faith, yeah. Yeah. trusting and And you don't have to God. pretend so that it's good, what, that yeah. what happened right. is good. Exactly. No, so no, that's no. where I think our confusion is. And I, I like what you said, Ashley. It's, it's kind of like, I've got to be stoic and I'm not going to waver when, hang on, for a while you might fall on your face, say a lot of things. It's God yeah. can handle it. I, mean, I, I remember I had one disappoint, particular right? disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. And, right. But I was borderline, almost might have been offended at God if I didn't bring it to God, like right. if I wasn't exactly. honest enough. Right. And I you think sometimes <laughs> we carry an offence towards God, but we would never say it out loud. Yeah. But then that blocks Block, us seeing right. God move yeah, somewhere right. down in yeah. the yeah. So, so that's why so the true. Psalms are in the Bible. And it's Absolutely saying, so is it okay? No, to lose a child is never. No, like, no, I, I, I'm never no. going to say to anybody that's oh, okay yes, or that no, you're, yeah. or you'll be glad one day. Yeah, God, no, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. Or oh, this right here, this is what most believe say, well, for all things, give thanks, but that's not the scripture. But no, the scripture say in all things. Exactly. Not for. Yeah. Yeah. No, this there, there's, not nothing, there's nothing yeah. good about yeah. cancer. There's nothing no, good about children good. dying or tra- I, you, you, the God didn't send that to, oh, he's just going to teach you. I'm like, what kind no. of father? That's so I don't get what just happened and, and perfect thing perfect. comes from yeah. above. Yeah. So I have to understand I live in a fallen world. You know, there's no doubt about it. There are plenty of things in my life over 31 years of following Jesus that I've prayed for, I have believed for, and they haven't come to pass. I've prayed for people, believing God would heal them, believing God would heal their children, and they have ended up, uh, you know, being promoted to glory. It didn't go the way that I thought it would go. There are res- there are relationships. I prayed for God to restore, and thus far they haven't been restored. At those moments, we are all confronted with something. And a lot of us at that point uh, make the choice that, you know what, God, you're not good, you're not faithful, I can't trust you. I'm gonna try to control my own life. I'm gonna do things my own way, or they walk away from God, I get it. I understand why someone would do that. But I'm here to tell you, that doesn't have to be the option that you take. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And this is the test of faith for every single one of us. Will we continue to trust God even when we no longer understand what God is doing? There are things that are outside of my control. but And I think for believers in these days in which we live, where Jesus says, you know, trials, you will have tribulation. In the last days, yeah. these things, yeah. our ability to navigate disappointment and still stay in faith, mm-hmm. still right. trust Count God, all be joy. real, mm-hmm. yeah, and do all that, mm-hmm. that's actually going to be the sign of a believer yeah, to an unbelieving absolutely. world. That's going to be a miracle that's, that's to an unbelieving world. Because they wonder how, how, how have you, you stayed? Joy. How have you I still continued? I think it brings us back to the, our purpose, like, I think sometimes we can forget why we're here and God wants my life to be easy. And it's like, no, that's not like my purpose. purpose, God created me to have intimacy with him, Mm -hmm. to glorify him in the earth and to spread the gospel, like to tell people about Jesus. So if I lose something or if I'm disappointed or if I'm in the valley, I think those, at least in my life, those the hardest times in my life is when my intimacy with the Lord grew so much more because I was like mm-hmm. in a place of desperation. Yeah. And I think desperation can be our best friend if we if we go to the Lord and we do 
pour out our hearts and we tell them that we're angry and we tell them that we're like we don't understand our frustration so I think it's all about like why am I here am I here to have an easy life or am I here to to build my relationship with the Lord and to have greater intimacy with him and glorify him even Psalm 103, this says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, mm-hmm. um, and forget not one of all of his benefits. benefits. But those benefits are who forgives each and every one of all of our sins, who heals yeah. all of our diseases, who crowns us yes. with loving yes. kindness and tender mercy, yes. who renews our youth like the eagle. Now, it doesn't say in anywhere there who will give us a pain-free, suffering-free, right. yeah. 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 Um, oh, that kind of life. It says, no, no, in the midst of it all, mm-hmm. And I think in these last days especially, the testimony of the Christian is that we still walk in victory despite pain, suffering, loss, that I can look someone in the eye and go, I know. Mm -hmm. And like even if I I go, it sucks, it's not good, but but I'm here to tell you I still have the joy of the Lord, I still have the peace of the Lord, I still have the love of God. That's the miracle right there. That's the miracle, that's the miracle. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.